Mandatory minimum sentences are a huge problem in, in, my, in my opinion. So lawmakers who came up with this idea that if a person is sentenced, if they're convicted of this particular crime, they have to do this mandatory minimum amount of years in prison before they can be released. Meaning that if they're convicted, and typically it's with drug offenses, uh, drug uh, distribution, and oftentimes possession with intent to distribute, certainly gun offenses, and uh, murder. I think most people agree somebody's convicted of first degree murder, but those mandatory minimums have been in effect for a long time. But I'm talking about people in possession of a certain amount of drugs. That's the most controversial one because we're talking about nonviolent offenses. And these laws are in the books in the federal, uh, in our federal system, and in all 50 states have some form of these mandatory minimum sentences. Some of these sentences are 5, 10, 15, 20 years that you have to do before you can even be considered for release. Yes, it's, of course it's wrong to sell drugs. Of course it's wrong to possess drugs. I think those things are wrong. But is there a way that we can punish those persons, treat them if they have a problem, rehabilitate them if, if they need education, if they need employment, find some way to, uh, to, to you know, punish them if we think they need punishment without putting them in a cage for an extremely long period of time. Even if we have to incarcerate them, do we have to do it for 15 years because they possess some drugs? That just seems so unfair. So I think we have to, justice means, in my opinion, taking on a whole new mindset about our fellow human beings and about what it is they've done and whether what they've done really deserve whether they deserve to be thrown away, right? Because really locking a person for 10, 15 years, you really are throwing their lives away because they're in a cage for 15 years. And so when they come out, right, with no skills and no education or anything, really, what are they gonna do? Probably commit more crime.